Hi, this is Chris at The Wandering Bull. Today we're going to talk about this great antique teepee bag. This guy's brain tan, um, probably 1890s, 1910 in that time period. It's got quill work across the front, nice tiny fine quill work in red, purple right at the end, and these sections of fluffs going right down the middle. The top is beaded. The flap beaded and wool and whip stitched with brain tan lace as well. And you can see the ties that hold the flap in place. These little quill dangles that come down with tin cones, orange yarn. This is an exceptional bag. It still has all the components. These things fall off over time, get worn. The couple of the cones on this side here have lost their yarn. It looks like at some point in time there was some yellow pigment on it. Um, very common. And the beads on the end. Great bead colors. Well executed. This is a nice bag. Still has the ties on the bottom. That guy's got a little bit left. And you can see the shape of it. It's not square. It gets narrower towards the bottom. And they would pack clothes, food. Um, this is a storage container for a teepee. And when they're moving, this would be put on the horse, on the travoise. Um, nice example. It's so a backside, still great condition. Um, here's that other beaded panel. And you can see those yarn tufts have worn out. But the cones are still there. Bead works great. There's that last little tab still in place. And I have another teepee bag, about the same date, 1890s, 1910. Quill work on the front, still in great condition. The um, fluffs running right down. See the, the green highlights? You got the red bands and right in the middle of the green, but these fluffs run right down that. So there's obviously some missing. Um, and... One little pencil mark across the bottom, whether they ever intended to do another roll of quill work or not. But great bag. Beadwork is good. Um, tin cones, horse hair. But this guy has just had a little rough life. This portion of the bag had been damp at some point. It's got some leather loss, some bead loss. Um, and I don't know if you can see the great tag still in place. So I would say brain tanned, deer hide or buffalo. It's got one original tab still in place. And the flap, the beadwork on the flap is done separately and then sewn to the bag. You can see that seam right across the top. Um, and the construction is with real sinew. I'll flip this guy over. Here's our reverse side. I'll flip up that flap so you can see the damage. You can see that wet spot. You can see that wet spot right there. So that for whatever reason, somewhere along the, le the way, it had that um, moisture damage which rotted the leather. The beads fell off. But other than that, the bag is still soft, still supple. Um, the beads are great. And that's a pretty wide panel of beadwork on the side. The... Tin cones are still good, and red horse hair. It's a nice bag, it, and it's unfortunate that it had a little rough life. But, hey, it's 120 years old. So, once again, Chris Bullock, Wandering Bull. Check us out online. Call us on the 800-430-2855. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day.